Yo, what's up guys, Purple Fire here, guys, today bringing you guys another type of rumor video here today about Crown Tundra. If you guys are excited for this video, please try to leave a like down below, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also hit the like button as well, it's always greatly appreciated. I hope you all are having a wonderful, amazing day, staying safe out there during this pandemic, of course. Also guys, before we get into this video as well, I want to let you know that you want to take this video with a grain of salt. Not everything on this video that you see is true, you always want to take everything with a grain of salt, just because... It's not guaranteed true as Pokemon have Pokemon slash Nintendo slash Game Freak have not confirmed this either. So take it with a grain of salt. I just like doing discussions on these type of videos because you know what? It's pretty fun just talking about these videos and see what other people think about these videos. Well, these rumors, what other people think about the rumors. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Do not believe what you, everything you read on the internet. But with that being said, guys, let's just get right into the video for you guys. So, it says um, Crown Tundra Leak. It says release on November 18th. So apparently we're going to get on November 18th of 2020, of course, which is about two months away from now. So if that's the release date, that'd be pretty cool, right? Like I said, they want to release it as soon as they can. They did say end of November seemed like realistic, but they want to release it as soon as they can so that um, they can start working on the newer games and start release, like giving info about the newer games that are coming out. Because DLC is not going to last forever. But the Crown Tundra DLC is definitely going to last longer than the Isle of Armor DLC. The Isle of Armor was very short and very underwhelming. But it is a two-pack DLC. So Crown Tundra is the one that is like the better one of the Isle of Armor. Because of the legendary raids. And of course the bigger region I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, let's move on. It says Crown Tundra is bigger than Isle of Armor. <laughs> okay. See. There you go. My point stands there. Apparently we got um, a leak from Matt, Matt something on Twitter. He showed us like the map, well not really the map, but like the, all the flying spots in Crown Tundra and if, and if you like add like do a dotted graph around it, it's actually much bigger than Isle of Armor. So yeah, this is true. <clears throat> Peony the Chairman of the is a brother, yeah I know that. Specializing in ground type with the Ace being a G-Max Anaconda. Mm-hmm. Her daughter is your rival, her ace is a Galarian Slow King. So I read that he has a door and he, <laughs> she has a Slow King. So it makes sense that Glorious Slow King is the one we haven't seen yet and her ace makes sense as being a Glorious Slow King. That's pretty cool. I would I want I can't wait to see what actually Galarian Slow King looks like. I want to see what he looks like. I want to see what Glorious Slow King looks like so badly. So badly I want to see what Glorious Slow King looks like. Ah, okay, so a legendary tree of legendary three is a is about the le Garon legendary birds. A terrible time luck to lurking luck to it was for focus on Regirock, Regice, Reggie and Registeel. Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco. <coughs> After catching them, the players able to catch Reggie Gigas. The three Hoenn Riggies get new to move. Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco are not virgins. Are not virgins. Okay, that's interesting to think about here because. I think that they are budget exclusives. It'd be dumb, but it is true. But they're both DLC. That means they have to make people buy two DLC packs and two copies of the game. That's a lot of money for one like exclusive mod. So hmm, it make okay. I understand that it might not be um virgin exclusive, but at the same time, um. It would make sense with Pokemon. They like to like make everything like separate as possible so they can force people to buy like their each game. So that's why you have Zarkis and then turn different games, etc. But DLC, especially they're doing DLC, it's make it's really interesting. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But he said the legendary tree of a legendary three is about Glaren Birds. Makes sense. They do look like a tree, but oh, no, that just doesn't look like a tree. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm making this stuff up. And he said about like how the three Reggies will get a new signature move. They did not ever get a signature move, did they? No, they didn't. They never got a signature move. And Richard Lake and Rick Jake already have this signature move from True Show. Sure. I forgot what it's called, but one of them is like Dragon's Maw or something. I have no idea, I forgot what it was. Whatever. They came from the Ultra Beyond, we'll focus on the Ultra Beast. Ooh, Ultra Beast coming back. The Ultra Beast were on um, the um, the little data mine for the Pokedex. So, yeah, it makes sense that the Ultra Beast will be coming back. Boswell, Cartana, and Blossom are exclusive to the Sword. Hermosa, Silcino, Stack Attack, Stack Attack, Glad I'm Sword Gang. I love, I prefer Katana and Blitz Ever Alarm. Blitz Ever Alarm is scary. These are more of the offensive mods, but actually, Hermosa is offensive too. They're all what kind of offensive? They kept Silcino and Stack Attack, and they're both defensive. Yeah, it makes sense. There's no point of getting all six Ultra Beasts. Wait, wait. What about. What about, um. What's the other one? The, the Jellyfish one. I forgot about Jellyfish one. But yeah, three for three. It makes sense. I don't know about the third one. I don't know about. Um, what's, what's his name? The little Jellyfish. Oh, I have no idea. Hopefully, I remember when I'm going through this. 
the sacred bonds of sovereign and steel will focus on carrots and two virgin exclusive horse pokemon so this is the everyone keeps talking about this horse pokemon that fuses with calorex and it makes sense that they do fuse because um because Colrus is in the game and Colrus gives you like the and if you get the eye of fusion like uh fusion for kiram and zekin reshiram and also in a crossbow with solgaleo and Lunala, it makes sense that if calorex can fuse Oh, Calyx looks very underwhelming, and if it can fuse, but it's a mythical Pokemon. That's my that's my only uh, that's my only objection to the fusing Pokemon. It's a mythical Pokemon. They would they would they would they fuse a mythical Pokemon? I am not sure. I am I am I am completely. Lo I have no idea. I literally have no idea if they would fuse like that kind of thing. I'm not sure. I am not sure at all. Very very. Oh, it just it seems really interesting. The sacred bonds of sovereign. Okay, wait, I read that one. The new, there's no new glory for other than the four in the crown tundra. Four in the crown tundra. Oh, there's five. No, six. Wait. The birds, the Regis. That's six. And the cloaking, isn't it? Six. Maybe two and six. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Garden Birds and Sloking, yes. An event which allows you to catch soldiers after completing Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, they are not shiny locked. Ooh! Makes sense, Soul Justice. They are in the the little day mining thing, so it is very believable that they could be in it. The two new Titans in the Glory Butcher are not shiny locked. Calyrex are, and Two Seeds are, however. It makes sense that Calyrex is because it's a mythical, and they don't like giving mythicals like free shiny range. And plus, the two Titans and the Glory and Virtrio can already be found as shinies. But mythical Pokemon, mythicals are very hard to come across the shinies like Mew, Celebi, Josh. They're all like event mods and like so hard to find them as shinies. Yeah, it is. There's more stuff here. Oh, there's a lot more stuff here actually. Fossils are also returning with Beast Virgin exclusive. Aerodactyl can be obtained in both versions. Sword, Omnite, Lilith, Tortuga, Tyrant, Shield, Kabuto, Anarith, Archon, and Amora. Makes sense. You know, both games. But I feel like you. I feel like people would just like find the fossils. And like from the digging tree, like easily. I'm not sure. Like a rare chance, like the whole like Draco fossils, all those. Oh, so they're but they are not receiving gigantic muffins. All Megalution is not, and Megalution is not coming back. They can be transferred to the upcoming release of Ruby and Sapphire Emerald on the Switch eShop. I really hope they release it in the Switch eShop. I want to play like that. That'd be so cool. There'll be a new Hidden Billy Capsule. People are saying there's going to be a Duck and New. No, there is going to be a Hidden Billy Capsule because we did see uh, Matt on Twitter did like data mine that, and on Pulse on Twitter, there's going to be a Hidden Billy Capsule. That is true. This is 100% true. New Max Ivy Symptom to Max Mushroom Max Honey appears in Count Tundra. Five of them are required for the Max Suit, which allows Mel Mel to Gigantamax. Ooh, cool. Virgin gives you Legendary Dynamax Adventure, Sword, Raikou, Ho Ho, Entei, Amet Latios, Groudon, Dialga, Tornado, Fresh Ram, Xerneas, and Zogaleo, Entei, Lugias, Latias, Kyoga, Palkia, Thunderous, Zekrom, Yvelto, and Lunana. Makes sense. Separate games, makes sense. Mewtwo, Suicune with Raikou and Entei, Rayquaza with Groudon and Kyoga, Heatran with Heatran by itself. Gutom and Dialga Palkia, Cresselia, Landros with Tornado Thunderous, Kieran with Brush and Necrom, Dialga with Zunin, yep. Tabakoa, Tabulele, Tabubulu, Tabufini, Cosmo, Cosmo, Necrozma with Sogalin. Uh, makes sense. So, all of this stuff, everything here I can believe, all these stuff are very believable. Everything here is very believable. All this stuff on screen right now is very believable just because of the fact, like, we did see so many uh, legendary Pokemon in the trailer and them being Virgin Exclusive makes sense because it is Pokemon. They want everything to be separate and so you buy both copies. It makes sense. For this part, um, this makes sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, but I'm not sure about this part because while they fuse a mythical Pokemon, I'm not sure. No new God of Wars, Yes. An event which I know. Yes. 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 Everything seems blue except the whole like fusing part. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below, of course. But everything on this room must seem believable. Let me know what you guys believe because I think everything here is very, 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 very believable. And most of this stuff seems pretty much correct. I don't know about the reviews of Emerald. I hope it is true, though. But, of course, let me know what you guys think down below. Leave a like down below, of course. We get them know your favorite part of this rumor. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below what you don't think is believable. But, nonetheless, hope you guys stay safe out there. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.